Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the bomber, part number BB5080-350-646, is what this is. And this video is going to talk about what this hinge is, where you're going to use it, why the part number is what it is. Here's what the hinge looks like. So, in essence, this is a ball-bearing, commercial-grade hinge, five-knuckle, full-mortise, steel-based, uh, with a 5 8 radius, is what it is. This is going to a client who has a requirement for hinges for an inch and 3 8 solid core door. The existing prep is 5 8 radius, has low-quality, low-end, plain bearing residential weight hinges and wants to substantially improve the hinges by which the door is hung on and here they are okay that's what it looks like let's take some basic dimensional properties this hinge leaf ought to be 123 thousandths thick uh, when it's three and a half inch and a commercial weight uh, let's test that 126 thousands. So yeah, 126 thousands ought to be 123, or maybe it is 126. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be 123. Doesn't matter. That, that three thousands. Three and a half inch tall. Three and a half inch wide. Okay. Where are you going to use this hinge? Why would this client order this? Let's take a closer look at that. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Why does a client require such a hinge? Well, uh, this client in particular, and it's a common application. First of all, 5 8 radius is the thing that really defines this. This client has a wood door and a wood frame and has existing 5 8 radius corners on the prep in the door and the prep in the frame. How did that get there? Well. 5 eighths is the radius, okay? That would make the diameter inch and a quarter. Why is that important? Well, they use an inch and a quarter diameter router bit when they are routing the hinge preps in the doors and frames. And they'll use, they as a pre-hung shop, a wood door shop, a manufacturer, they'll use inch and a quarter diameter rather than a half inch diameter because it's larger, meaning as you pass, you do one tool path you're removing more material at one time. More efficient, quicker, uh, and that's why you'll get a 5 8 radius um, on, the, uh, on, the, on the preparation. Can clients square out those corners? Sure they can. Do clients want to do that? No. I don't want to use a hammer and a chisel, and I just want what I have. Great. Bomber will accommodate. This hinge would come with, normally, a square corner. Doesn't have to. It can come with a quarter inch radius that's where you get a half inch diameter router bit and then of course the 5 8 radius this is a commercial grade hinge because the client wanted something more substantial this is a uh, you know in the home you know what's the most used doors is it the um, you know front door the the mudroom door the side door the bedroom doors the bathroom doors the linen closet the door that's just in the basement that it, behind that wall is where the hot water tank is rarely used. But those basement doors, those mudroom doors, those exterior doors, they're getting used all the time. And the client wants to be able to route his hinge prep deeper because he knows that in 10, 5, 10, 20 years, there will be substantial wear pattern on those plain bearing residential weight hinges. In terms of the weight, there are three. Residential weight, standard weight, heavyweight. Residential weight is about 90 thousandths, 93 thousandths. Commercial weight is about 134 thousandths. Depends on the size. This is 123 because it's a three and a half. A four by four would be 130 thousandths. A four and a half, four and a half would be 134. Uh, five by five would be about 140 thousandths. Then you have heavyweight. You're only going to see heavyweight hinges in four and a half inch and above. 180 thousandths, 190 thousandths, and so on. This client wanted an upgraded hinge. And there you go. The location of the screw holes matches what the client already has, so there's no trouble uh, at all in that regard. But he will have to mortise everything deeper, but he won't have to square any corners out. Okay. Um, dissecting the part number, BB stands for ball bearing. 5,000 means it means it's made of steel. It does mean that. 
it means it's full mortise. You can see from the swag on the hinge leaves here that when the leaves are brought parallel, they're meant to be mortised flush to the edge of the door and frame. It means it's five knuckle. And on a standard weight five knuckle hinge, you'll have two bearing packets, whereas on a heavy weight ball bearing hinge, you'll have four bearing packets. Um, and other than that, it just means it's a standard hinge. You add the eight in the part number, that tells us five eighths radius. Then we go to the size, 350, 350. The height is the first dimension. It's three and a half by three and a half. It's important to know that the height is the first dimension because not all hinges are square. You could have a four by three and a half. You could have a three and a half by three. Uh, you could have a you know, five by 12. You could have an eight by six. It's important to know, yeah, the height is what we're talking about first. Why is the height the first dimension? I really don't know, but I liken it to the analogy of, I'll say, drive from this point to that point. Here's your destination. You need to know what direction am I headed in and at what rate of speed. Which one do you want to know first? The rate of speed or the direction? You want to know the direction first. Tell me to go north and then at, you know, whatever speed. Um, same thing with the hinge. The height is the hinge, the height is the dimension from the hinge that you would prefer to hear first. It's a, it's a four and a half inch wide hinge. Okay, that doesn't help me narrow it down. If you tell me that it's a six inch tall hinge, oh, that starts helping me narrow it down. I start to think in my head what it is. Anyway, so that's why the height is the first dimension in my estimation. 646, that means two things. It means it's made of steel and that it is in a satin nickel finish. That's what satin nickel looks like from, from Bomber. Okay, let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at some supporting information. Here's the hinge that we are looking at. Let's start off by taking a look at some images that we have. There's the box. Here's the hinge showing the swag on the hinge leaves there. This is the feature that makes us a full mortise hinge. If you change that hinge bend, it's going to change the hinge altogether. The backside, the logo, and a little uh, close-up view of what the hinge looks like. They do a good job cleaning up that crotch area between the barrel and the hinge leaf, making that compatible in there. The fasteners that are included. My part number includes the letters AWS. That tells the factory that we want all wood screws. There would be no need on this order to include any machine screws. Uh, this is not a light gauge hollow metal frame in an interior condo application where we have steel frames. We just needed wood screws. So we, we put that information in the part number to the manufacturer so as to be very clear as to what we wanted. We didn't want half wood screws and half wood uh, machine screws, all wood screws. Be sure to indicate what you'd like at the time of order. Now, a couple of links down below. First of all is a cut sheet. This cut sheet is going to show us the BB5000 hinge, which is the base hinge of what we have. You can do the same hinge in a brass base material or a stainless steel base material, and you can see how the part number changes. This table tells us all the different sizes that you can do the BB5000s. If you're doing 3.5 by 3.5, take a look at the 3x3. Three three. That might be a better option for you. The point being on the 3.5 three by, th uh, three by 3 is if you have a door, and you currently have 3.5 by 3.5 inch hinges, here's your barrel. Okay. If you have no reason for that barrel to stick out so proud, go with a 3-inch wide hinge. It'll bring that dimension in, less projecting hardware, brings the vertical axis of center of pivoting over the center of the door thickness better, making the hinge more efficient at what it does. It's not much, but if you have no need for it to be 3.5, go with a 3-inch hinge. That will usually always work. Um, very common is a four and a half by four, especially in aluminum storefront. Uh, five by four, five by four and a half. In installations where you have no added material out here and you have a standard inset, the face of the door to the face of the frame, you should always be able to do a four inch or a four and a half inch wide hinge. You don't need to have five inch wide hinges. It's unnecessarily too wide. Best practice would tell you to 
take the vertical axis of pivoting and bring it as close to the center of the thickness of the door as possible. Template. We'll talk about that in a second. Two ball bearings, five knuckle, non-rising removable pin. What they're saying there is this pin is removable. You can drive it out. There's a hole in this button cap that you can use a center punch and drive that out. But it's nine rising in the sense that it may have some knurling on the pin to prevent it from as the door opens and closes and opens and closes thousands of times. It has the effect of extruding the pin out through the top. You'll see it. Um, and the non-rising pin is conducive to keeping that pin seated where it belongs. Now I said uh, button, tip, pin, and plug. That means that these tips here are called button tips. It looks like the button on your coat. You can do decorative tips, acorn and steeple and urn tip as well. Ball tip is the most common of all decorative tips. Now I said template. There happens to be a document also called, it might be called cut sheet, but it's a template. What they're saying with the word template means that these locations of the holes, and this is showing a four or a four and a half or a five inch hinge, not a three and a half inch hinge, but the location of these holes are the template locations, meaning they're going to be in these exact locations, these exact dimensional locations every single time. So if you have a door and frame that's made to the template location, it, this hinge will be compliant. This document happens to be called a template because it gives dimensional properties of it, but these locations are referred to as the template locations. They also show us different part numbers because this template applies to different types of hinges. The five is a five knuckle. The eight, it's not an eight knuckle, it's a three knuckle hinge. BB is ball bearing versus plain bearing. LB is the lube bearing or maintenance free bearing type construction from Bomber. Very clean looking hinge when, when you have an LB uh, 8000 hinge, a three knuckle hinge, and also there's no exposed bearing package. You won't see any of this business on your hinge at all. It's a clean, much cleaner look. You can see how that part number changes as the base material changes as we indicated earlier. If you want these in solid brass, they can do it. That's the point. Stainless steel, they can do it. Now there's also a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. When you click on that, the manufacturer's page will load where you can pull up not only all of the bomber products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation as seen here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as link to the full product catalog. Now in the full product catalog is actually page two of our, might be the first page of our um, cut sheet. And this shows us how that part number is dissected. BB for ball bearing, five for five knuckle, zero for full mortise. We have an eight here for a 5 8 radius, and then a zero here for standard weight steel base. Then we have our size, 350. We have no other options in here. Uh, I'll leave you to discover what those options might look like, but then we have our finish at the end. And these are just examples. There are six listed there. Bomber can do practically 36 different finishes depending on the base material. They have a very um, exceptional separate facility, their plating plant. Um, is there. But as you open up that catalog, you're going to be able to go through all things hinge related from Bomber. And if you know the not Bomber name at all, you will because of their spring hinges most likely. Single and double acting spring hinges. The most common of all will be the 3029. Uh, and you have certainly seen this 3029 hinge out in the wild somewhere. If you've ever seen a door in a, 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 rest, a restaurant between the kitchen and the dining area double acting, it's probably bomber hinges that are there. If it's not bombers, it's an clo inferior clone of it. Okay, so you probably know the name bomber for that, maybe without even realizing it. Lots of variations on spring hinges are all listed here, and I would encourage you to go through it and all things bomber related. Um, they are approaching 250 years in business at this point. Uh, two brothers, the bomber brothers. The bomber is owned by the daughter of one of the two brothers and run by the husband of that daughter. Very interesting, fun fact. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. 
Okay, in conclusion, nice quality hinge from Bomber. Bomber logo right there is what it is what we're looking at here. They put that in almost all their product, as do manufacturers. But what is different about this logo, logo compared to others is that it says Made in USA right above it, a fact that Bomber is quite proud of as am I to represent them. Um, I visited Bomber's plant. I was uh, fortunate enough to be practically invited there, and I thank them very, very much. Um, they have an exceptional setup in all of their departments, their engineering, their customer service, their shipping. Uh, pound for pound, you know, the best fighter in the game, so to speak. So I'm quite partial to Bomber. If you have any questions on the BB5080-350-646 or any other Bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.